let me just ask a, a question question about, I mean, to be candid, uh, I've worked a little bit with Senator Biden. I have great respect for him, but it looks to me, looking at the polls, as if he's almost a non-factor in this election. There's very little enthusiasm for him, a lot of support, very little enthusiasm. Isn't this election really all about Trump, yes or no? And isn't that really where your convention probably has to go, is to discrediting Trump even further? Well, I, uh, it's good to see you again, Congressman. Uh, I would respectfully and uh, energetically disagree with your premise. Okay. And I would look at the data. I mean, look, if, if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic, what we would be talking about is the lights out turnout that we've seen uh, starting in 2017, 18, 19, and going into these primaries. New Hampshire had uh, record turnout, uh, outdid 08. Joe Biden outperformed Barack Obama in South Carolina, in, in Joe Biden in 2020, if, I, if you and I had had a cup of coffee January of this year, and I said more people are gonna turn out in South Carolina the last day of February for the South Carolina primary than turned out in 2008 for Joe Biden, you, would, you probably would have been wondering if I had a little Kahlua in my coffee. <laughs> and uh, that's what happened. And then three days later on Super Tuesday, the same thing. I think there's tremendous energy and there's a tremendous um, uh, there's, a, there's a tremendous interest in regaining our democracy. And, and, and Congressman, what I, what I said before about just, to Justin is what I would reiterate. Sometimes in life, a person meets the moment. Um, this president uh, held a press conference over the weekend at his golf course to talk about executive action. That, I mean, every ethics lawyer across America ought to be wondering, like, what are you doing? He's talking about holding, you know, his uh, acceptance speech you know, from the White House. I mean, people are dying right now. People are suffering like never before. And they want leadership that feels their pain. And, and that's where Joe Biden meets the moment. He has a track record of accomplishment. He has a track record of bringing people together. And that moment is now. And, and if you look at our platform, it's a really bold vision for moving America forward uh, economically uh, in our foreign policy in every aspect of opportunity. And so I'm very excited about uh, the, um, I'm very excited about Joe Biden. We're gonna make more history this week with uh, the historic announcement of a running mate and um, you know, people know our democracy is on fire. Republicans, Democrats, and independents, the Lincoln Project, Democrats, others, they know that this president is unfit to serve. And you see Joe Biden and you see a person of impeccable, impeccable um, integrity. Thank you.